Hey Cruisers, welcome back to video number two in our three-part series where we are packing for a Caribbean cruise, seven-night Caribbean cruise on MSC Seaside. Today we are going to be going over all of my husband's clothes. So this is the men's edition and up next will be the kids' edition. Today's episode is sponsored by CruiseLine.com where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. Let's get right into it, folks. We're going to talk about how Hubby handles his packing game. This is, again, a warm weather cruise, seven nights, and we are going carry on only because we are flying. We do not like to check our bags. We don't like to deal with the waiting in the airport. We just want to get her done. So, Let's talk about the reasoning behind all the stuff that he's packing. Let's start with shoes. Mr. Chris Tips TV is a three-shoe man, so he is going to be taking a pair of dinner shoes, which he can wear on dressier nights, a pair of flip-flops, which he'll wear during the day around the deck, on excursions, things like that, and our good old-fashioned family white and black Nike Tangent sneakers that he can wear to more casual dinners or on excursions that are more active. So he can get away with three pair of shoes. He's a better packer than I am in that department. He also takes a little stack of athletic socks here to wear during the day if he needs to wear socks and tennies and he's not in his flip-flops, or he can also wear these at night on more casual nights. He then packs two pair of socks. Uh-oh, Mr. Bowtie. Mr. Bowtie, you hitched a ride. <laughs> we'll talk about you later, young man. Anyway, these are his two pair of dress socks for the two formal nights on board and a belt that he can wear in formal night. This is a really cool little belt. This is a fossil belt. We probably got it somewhere like Ross or TJ Maxx. So that is a little intro to some of those basics. Now, let's talk, before we get into the casual clothes, let's talk about how Mr. Cruise Tips TV does formal night. Now, it's not always possible for him to pack a sport jacket or really practical, but he's a dressy kind of guy. He loves the formality of cruising. So his solution, is to pack these nice uh, long sleeve shirts here, anti-wrinkle of course, and pair them with a vest and a bow tie. So he will do vest bow tie and dress pants, dress shoes, and dress shirts for those two formal nights. And he looks dashing. And you really still, when you wear a vest and a bow tie, you look really, really dressy. So guys, if you don't want to take a sport jacket, you're probably not going to get kicked off the cruise for it. My husband has probably taken a sport jacket on maybe two out of over 30 cruises that we have ever been on. So formal night out of the way. Let's talk a little bit about what else is in the bag. Now, his formal night pants are folded nicely here. He is going to wear one pair of pants for both formal nights. So just in case you're wondering where those are, they are not in a hanger, they're in the stack. Let's first talk about Mr. Cruise Tips TV's jammies or his evening wear. Um, he is really smart about packing pajama type items that double as potential day wear. So what you're gonna see here is some very lightweight tank tops that he could also wear during the day with shorts and some sleep shorts or kind of lounge wear shorts that he's picked up at discount stores, probably like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, that really go the distance for him on a cruise. And as you can see, very small footprint here. This is not gonna take up a lot of luggage space. Next up, we have swimsuits and shorts. I'm gonna kind of hold up the stack. I'm not gonna open up every single item and show it to you, but I'm gonna kind of tell you a little bit about the logic. He has in this stack he has one actual swimsuit, which you see on the top, and the rest is a combination of regular shorts and Mr. Cruz Tips TV, favor, uh, his favorite kind of short, which is a hybrid short. If you're not familiar with hybrid shorts, I'm going to take one pair out and hold them up for you. They are shorts that can be worn either as a regular short or a swimsuit. They don't really look like swimwear when you're wearing them. So rather than him going around wearing his swim trunks and pulling, trying to, you know, pass them off as shorts, he's going with this hybrid look where if he had to swim or if he was faced with a body of water on a normal day, he could just jump in and they also dry really fast. These are amazing and he has at least three pair of these in here. He also has a nice plain pair of white shorts because as you may or may not know, MSC Cruises does sometimes have a white night. So we're going to kind of Get the whole family outfitted with white clothes in case that happens. So that is the jammies and shorts side of things for him. And let's move on to this stack. He has this cool hat that I can't remember where we got it, but can't seem to find another one. I'm sorry I don't have a link for you guys, but it says salty on it. Nice baseball cap to protect him from the sun during the day. We now have a giant stack of boxer shorts. In the event that we cannot do laundry, Mr. Cruise Tips TV is good in the underpants department, so we're good there. Then we have his beautifully and meticulously folded shirts. As you guys can see, 
He really folds things beautifully. Look at that. He has a combination of polo shirts for more casual dinners and t-shirts here. We have two polo shirts and one, two, three, four, five, probably about eight t-shirts. On a Caribbean cruise, he's gonna be getting warm and probably pretty sweaty in that humidity, so we wanted to plan for having kind of a change of clothes here and there. Then, as you can see, Mr. Cruise Tips TV has his pants. These are a very basic pair of gray kind of chino type pants um, that can be worn with a belt. They're kind of a slimmer look and they look really good with all of his shirts. I'm going to show you his dress shirts in just a moment, but one thing you'll notice about this pair in particular is they're very neutral and he chose shirts that go with these pants. And these are his dress pants. And the last pair of pants that he will take, so the third pair of pants for Mr. Cruise Tips TV, is going to be the jeans that he wears on the airplane that we'll also take on the cruise. So last but not least, let's take a look at uh, the shirts that he's chosen. So we have here two dress shirts, white and a nice dot. These are both a Calvin Klein slim fit performance non-iron, but he ironed them anyway. He irons things before we go. And then he has three more casual shirts. This was definitely a TJ Maxx or Marshalls find here. This is a gorgeous new ombre look from INC at Macy's, which is just something, one thing we purchased for him for this cruise. We're really excited about the look. And he'd probably wear this shirt to the white party with the white shorts. And then he has a nice basic Calvin Klein uh, short sleeve dress shirt. So this would be, this would account for three out of seven of the dinners. For the two formal dinners, he'd wear these formal shirts. And then for the last two, he'd wear his cotton short sleeve polo shirts with the pants that we have featured. So, before we show you Mr. Cruise Tips TV packing everything into his carry-on only bag, I do want to give you just a really brief glimpse of what he takes as his personal carry-on item. Now, keep in mind that all of the essential non-clothing items that we're taking on this cruise, like a, a non-surge power cord, um, our tripod, things like that will have to be distributed throughout the bags when we get them all laid out and packed. So, we have got all of our camera gear taking up his um, his personal item for the flight. So this is a probably a Manfrotto. Is this a Manfrotto? Manfrotto brand camera bag. So he's going to be keeping all this stuff safe and close to his body during our travels. And this will be his personal item. So he, obviously he doesn't have a purse or anything like that. I'll be taking care of all that. And this will be his personal item. The thing that's great about these bags is obviously they're very well insulated and they have beautiful separation inside. We'll try to show you these in a separate episode later. No promises, but if we can get to it, we'd love to do an episode just on how he organizes the camera bag. Um, but you can see that he has a, a carabiner on the outside here. And this Velcro here is to um, affix to his stabilizers. And then we have a GoPro mount that's clipped on here. It's clipped on so hard I can't even get it off. So he's using his space very wisely. And by the time we get ready to go, this sucker will be fully packed and heavy. You'll notice he has a few extra carabiners. These are wonderful things to take on a cruise, especially warm weather. You can hook a water bottle, a baseball cap, any number of things to the outside of it. So that is a look at Mr. Cruise Tips TV's um, uh, packing repertoire. Hopefully you've watched the first video in the series, which is my packing stuff, and you'll watch the next video, which is packing for our little son. He is nine years old and has a totally different perspective on packing, i.e. he doesn't care and counts on me to do it all for him, right? But anyways, if you guys could give us a follow over on social media, we are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Cruise Tips TV, all one word. Consider subscribing and liking this channel, liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know when we we are going live. Let's take a quick look at Mr. Cruise Tips TV packing the bags and I will sign out for now. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.
Hey, click me to subscribe.